You know that Jesus, Jesus Christ, was born in Bethlehem. This is an official statement and it's recorded in the Bible, in the New Testament. But there's a little story that is often overlooked. When Jesus started choosing his disciples, and that time he was about 30 years old, and uh, he called Philip. And Philip knew Nathanael. And it's recorded in the Gospel of John, for chapter 1, verse 43 to 46, that Philip went and met Nathanael. And he said, we've met Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. He's the Messiah. Come and see. And you know what Nathanael's response was? Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? And Philip said, well, just come and see. And the rest, like they say, is history. Nathanael joined Jesus later. But it's interesting to know that he was, Jesus was introduced as coming from Nazareth because that's where he grew up and everybody knew him as the son of Joseph but actually he was not born there as you remember he was born in Bethlehem because of the census uh, Mary had to go there Joseph had to go there and he took Mary along and she was pregnant heavily pregnant and she gave birth to Jesus in Bethlehem then they flew to Egypt because of persecution then settled on their return to Nazareth. And what is interesting is how people can be led astray or distracted by prejudices and stereotypes. Nazareth was not one of those towns that was well respected. We all know places like that. In Nigeria, immediately you meet someone the first question they ask is, where are you from? Once they've cleared that you are the same ethnical group as this. And I had that experience when I came from Nigeria to the UK. And people were asking me what I was doing before and I was saying I'm, I'm, I was in Nigeria. And people grimaced and said, Nigeria? Hmm. And anything I would say or do afterwards would be tainted, soiled by that name, Nigeria. Can any good thing come from Nigeria? And it made me really discover what it must have been for Jesus. The people didn't know he was from the lineage of David by his foster, pair, foster father. They had no idea what happened to his mother and now he was conceived. All this thing was unknown to those that approached him for the first time. All they had was their stereotype, their prejudice against Nazareth. And that could have pushed people away. So the story ends with a lesson. Never assume that you know when people say, I am this or I am that. Whether this be their nationality, the region they come from, the accent they have, their slang, their patois, their language, their studies or absence of it. Don't judge people. Just receive them. Appreciate them for what they are and who they are. Their town doesn't make them who they are. Bless you.